Hello there. In this video, we're going to cover how to enable the Jira Security tab, how to install the GitHub Advanced Security Integration, how to enable security scanning in GitHub, and how to get vulnerability data from GitHub into the Jira Security tab. All right, first thing we're gonna do is scroll down to Project Settings, and then we're gonna go to Features. Then we're gonna scroll down into the Development section, and we're gonna enable the Security Panel in Jira. Now we can go back to Project, and we can see the security panels available. If we click into here, we can see that there's nothing set up yet and we have to connect a tool. To connect GitHub, we're gonna click connect tool. Then we're gonna choose GitHub. Then we're gonna choose get it now. Then we're gonna close this and click set up app. We're gonna choose continue. We're connecting to GitHub cloud in this case. Click next. Now there's multiple organizations available. Choose the organization you want to connect and click connect. If you have to add one that's not showing up, you can do that by clicking select another organization. We're going to connect to JSW security git 01. I'm going to click exit setup because I don't want to do anything else here. Looks like the backfill is done. We're going to go back to our project by clicking projects and then choosing our project. We're going to click security and we're going to click finish setup. We're going to choose GitHub. Now we're going to click connect security containers. We're going to choose GitHub advanced security. And from the dropdown, we're going to choose the repository that we've already got in GitHub. And we're going to click add. We click show all, we can now see that the repository shows up. If we refresh this page a couple times, we're not going to see any vulnerabilities populated yet. And that's because we haven't enabled security vulnerability scanning in GitHub. So I've already got this repository open in another tab, so we're going to go to it. And to enable security scanning, we're going to click settings. Then we're going to go down to code security and analysis and we can enable Dependabot alerts. There's a whole bunch of options in here we're not going to cover, but this is sufficient to get vulnerabilities populating in Jira. Now we're gonna go back to Jira. We're still not getting vulnerabilities populating because we haven't done a commit and we haven't had Dependabots kick off and do a scan for us. So we're gonna to go to the terminal and do a quick commit. We're just gonna modify the readme. We're throwing a Jira issue ID into the commit message so that the Jira integration knows to link these up. Now we're going to do a quick push. And now we can see that GitHub has found 18 remote vulnerabilities. So if we go back to Jira and refresh, we should see those vulnerabilities uh, coming through now. Now that we've got some vulnerabilities populating, we can filter these a few different ways. One, we can filter by security container. In this case, we've only got a single, single container, so that doesn't help us much, but we can still do it. Another thing we can do is filter by severity. Let's take a look at our critical vulnerabilities. We can see a list below. We can filter by vulnerability status. In this case, we're only looking at open vulnerabilities, but you could also look at ignored or closed vulnerabilities. Finally, we can look at issue status. Issue status basically says whether or not there's a Jira issue associated with the vulnerability. So in this case, we have these vulnerabilities um, with no Jira issues associated with them. We can associate Jira issues with vulnerabilities in a couple ways. The first thing we can do is click the create issue button and this will automatically create a Jira issue for us that has a bunch of information about the vulnerability in the description along with links to additional information pages. We can assign it to whoever we want. It comes with the label security vulnerabilities. We can add it to our sprint if we choose and we can click create. Now we can close this and refresh. 
Now we don't see it because we have issue status set to no issues. So if we take that off, now it shows up that we can see this. Uh, we can go to this vulnerability anytime by opening a new tab. The other way we can link an issue to this is to click this button and choose link issue. And then from the drop down, we can choose our other issues and we can click save. And we can see this one's in progress. All right. Thank you for watching this video where we learned how to enable the Jira security tab, install the GitHub advanced security integration, enable security scanning in GitHub, and how to get vulnerability data from GitHub into the Jira security tab. You can find more videos like this in the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.